Sharing Knowledge, Wisdom by Philip Barrow Using Spiritual Weapons by Philip Barrow David Starr
About this YouTube video, you can use it as a spiritual weapon, awaken your ascension limitations DNA key and codes, remove dark energies, by Philip Barrow. a lot about frequency and I know you've mentioned that in a lot of your videos. Why is it so important to listen to high frequency music? Because that frequency goes to your third eye and the sound of it sends shock waves. Where do the shock waves go? To your third eye, which mm -hmm. powers it. Okay. And does the frequency only affect the third eye or does it affect the whole body? It goes to the third eye and but then it also like kind of strikes the whole body. So the frequency that you listen to affects yes. the third eye and then it goes into it your whole... It powers it up. Yep. It goes into your bloodstreams, the sound of it. Changes the structure of DNA to be healthier. Strengthens your DNA. That's so interesting. It's amazing that frequencies that we listen to can do something to our entire body. Yeah. What does it do to our home then? If it changes the frequencies in our bodies, what can it, it do to our home? It moves around certain types of energy that are not supposed to be there, that are bad. That's bad beautiful. I love that. Maybe. Um, so I'm seeing out there a lot of targeted light workers, and it is true. Uh, there's a mass exodus happening on the planet right now. This is the final battle we're in. This is actually the final battle <clears throat> that the light is clearing across. Um, so if you're finding yourself in situations where you're getting attacked, it's good to have weapons. Now, uh, I have a link on my profile on this on this at the top of the section here to Phil's Phil made a weapon Phil Barrow made a weapon it's amazing I've heard the most amazing things from all the people that I know um, one story that I can tell you is my friend Clarissa who has the best third eye I've ever met she sees things that I don't see she sees everything there's nothing she doesn't see um, and so she sees entities and she's been having problems for many years and I was teaching her the purple flame and that helped and then they would come back and then um, she needed more help um, so I teach her I do other things I help lift it up her frequency and and such but yet they still will come when I leave whatever uh, having problems uh, so I sent her Phil's YouTube video for clearing and she got back to me she said David I cannot believe how amazing this works uh, she literally can say to these entities that I'm gonna play this video and they're like no 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 we'll we'll leave you alone we'll leave you alone we'll leave you alone please don't play the video um, and it's kind of funny uh, she says and then they started dancing and they're singing and they're being happy and they're leaving me alone and she says I've never seen anything like this before uh, so that link is up in the comments now the other thing I wanted to teach and I'm gonna be very specific and intentional this is a second weapon um, and this one is the most amazing weapon for getting entities to leave the heck out of your house now these entities are ones that will bug you at night they hide 
in dimensions, but they must come out. And uh, it got me thinking about a way that I used to do shadow work. Um, and so I tried this at my house. Sure enough, entities coming out of, of hidden dimensions, getting the heck out of my house. Uh, and these will be ones that will, uh, will always try to target you at night when you're sleeping. And it's super annoying. So annoying. Uh, and so this one is shadow work for house clearing. And I want to explain about how I came about on this concept, how I've used it to change the vibrations of places that I go to. Um, so I'll explain the first example of it. Uh, but I'm also going to explain the cautions of it that the light has told me to, my teams of guides told me I have to explain. And please do share this out to the community because this is going to help out everybody, um, all the people who are shining the brightest, who are getting attacks and this kind of thing. Um, share this out far and wide. It's just going to help everybody. It's going to help everybody be safe in the light. It's not that they're not safe. It's just super annoying getting attacked at night. Um, and as well as you, we want our houses clear. We want our energies clear. So this live is, is weaponizing light workers. Um, okay. So it's very important that we share this out as much as we possibly can. Now, I will explain shadow work, vibrational vib healing, and I'm going to explain how I did it. And then I thought, I'm going to do this on my house. I'm just going to do it on my house, see what happens. And, and it blew me away. I could not believe it. Um, now, what it's really cool, I'll explain it. So, so I, I was dating this person out in England, um, a couple years ago and we, um, we rented this, uh, old hotel. It was, um, we stayed there for about a week and it was like the oldest hotel in England. It was like in the 1600s. Um, part of it was still from the 1600s. And the first day we got there, I walked through it. I'm just like, oh, like an ick energy, just disgusting, low vibration. Um, inside of the restaurant area which is part of the 1600 year old part and i got out of there we get to our room and we were talking about it and we're like there is a serious disgusting vibration there uh, and then we go back the next day uh, and it's still there and i'm like look i'm just going to tune into it then i'm going to clear it because I, I can't stay in this energy it's disgusting right and so i want to explain what i did okay because this is going to lead to how you do house clearings. So I'm going to explain this, but don't do this yet to your house. Just get the understanding of it in this example. And then I'm going to explain the caution of it that the divine teams have told me to. Then you can do it to your house. Okay. So first, I just want to quickly explain unity fields. So unity fields is like when my field touches your field, it creates a unity field. All right. Now, you can use your hand chakras, one field, to connect to a vibration, another field. So you literally just connect the energy of the hand, of the vibration, to the, to the vibration of what you want to release, right? Intention is everything, connect, right? So while I did that, I was connecting to all of the vibrations inside of this uh, hotel area that was disgusting energy. Uh, and then I was tuning in and I was seeing, in this case, I was seeing, but you don't have to see, you can, it, you can release it. In this case, I was seeing, uh, mayors, politicians, prostitution, um, abuse. I didn't see any murders or anything, but there's just so many people cheating on their husbands and or so many husbands cheating on their wives. I mean, uh, maybe there was some other, but mostly husbands, wise people in power, and they're abusing these women. It was like a brothel house of some kind at one point. Um, and then not only that, it just kept being this energy of attracting cheating spouses and stuff. Um, and so I'm forgiving. I'm sending, so one hand, I'm connecting to the vibrations, right? The other hands, I'm sending in forgiveness to both sides of the people. Um, I'm sending in healing uh, into the hearts to release, to
too clear. So on one side, I'm sending in forgiveness, like I'm holding onto the vibration with the hand, right? So the hand makes a unity field. So now you hold on to the vi all of the vibrations in the room, right? You're holding on to all of the. You're just you're not connecting into them. You're just connecting to them and making a unity field connection. And this is very important um, because you're not attaching to the people and the places or the things in the vibration. You're just connecting to the vibrations in a unity field. So, so you, because you do not attach, you're not going to pick up in any of the dense energies. And this is a key, a key thing. So you can just breathe in love into your hand, exhale love, connect to the vibrations throughout the whole area. And then on the other hand, I was sending in energies of forgiveness to both sides, to the people who were cheating on the husbands and the healing the hearts, sending in healing, healing the hearts. And then I would intend to flood the timelines with golden light. And I, you can ask the angels to help heal the hearts, retrieve all soul fragments. And I just went, I was doing this for probably about 20 minutes and just going through all the vibrations until everything was cleared. And as soon as that was done, the vibration went from minus 100 to 200 to the positive. It felt great. It felt amazing. And so we went in there many times, about three times, and it was the most disgusting, ickiest, gross vibration that was left by these cheating people, um, these abusive people. It was just brutally disgusting, and it compounded over uh, six or five, four, four, five hundred years, whatever it is. And so it was just gross, disgusting vibration and I couldn't stand it. So the one hand I connect as a unity field to all vibrations. So I got a lock. I've locked into all the vibrations. On the other hand, I'm sending in forgiveness into all of these vibrations, then healing to all hearts on both sides of the karma, and then flooding the timeline of golden light retrieving the soul fragments, calling in the angels to help heal all hearts, right? And it went from the crappiest vibration that I've ever experienced to an amazing vibration in that whole energy. And then we could actually sit in there, eat dinner, and not be contaminated by the most disgusting energy. Um, throughout, it, w it was forever changed. Now, when you go into a dense area, you can do this to lift up the fields. This is actually a way of doing land healing, uh, castle clearing, whatever it is that you're, you're doing. But also for your own house, it's shadow work for clearing big areas, the vibrations that exist within. Now, what I did is I came home the other day and I did this in my house and I intended to connect to all vibrations that have ever been in my house, which goes quite a ways back um, to do shadow work and clearing on it. So I, I probably um, cleared things that um, that missed getting transmuted. The things that I didn't capture, you know, like, but you can intend just to connect to all the vibrations that are in your house now. It's probably a better way of doing it, actually, um, instead of going back in the past. Uh, but for me, I just connected to all of, and then uh, entities were being healed and cleared in there, getting the hell out, but they were being healed and cleared, brought back to the light. It was the most amazing thing ever. Um, and it lifts up the vibrations of your house. What this will do is it will also clear karma and, and negative energies from anybody who's in the house. So if it's sibling, uh, 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 like a, a um, husband as well, um, a partner who is a little bit denser. If you're living, if you're in one of those situations where your partner is a little bit more dense, uh, it will release entities attachments off of them, which is really nice because this is a common issue with light workers. My partner is a little bit dense, bringing back entities or attachments. It will clear off the kids. If you have kids, siblings, whoever it is, this will clear, this will heal the negative vibrations the negative energies within everybody's energy while lifting up the vibration of your house and clearing it at the same time. Uh, so this is a major, major weapon uh, for your house and um, it will lift everything up. Entities will get the heck out of there and they'll be healed and transmuted at the same time. So the caution, this is the caution part. The light has told me to make sure I distinguish to everybody do not 
attached to the entities themselves. You are not attaching to them. You are attaching to the vibrations. They will exist within, but you're not, because you're not intending to make a direct contact, intentionally connecting with the entities itself, there becomes no karma. There's no issues. There's no connection, right? Uh, it's just clearing them through vibrations and intentions. So this is how you do it. You can stand in your room. You can stand in your living room. Doesn't matter. And you hold one hand out. And you intend to connect to the vibrations of the house. All vibrations of the house in this now moment. you got to lock them with one hand. With the other hand, you intend to send in forgiveness to all of those vibrations on both sides of karma. And so you're going through all vibrations and you're just sitting there. You don't have to see anything. You're just sitting there if you want to tune into it. But you can just sit there and send in forgiveness to both sides of karma. And then you send in healing to the hearts of all of the vibrations to heal the hearts and the wounds and it's always good call, I call on the golden light angels to come in to also heal all of these hearts all of these wounds across all time and space right timelines and dimensions and parallels and allow the heart healing to happen and then you can just say hey angels while you're there please collect all soul fragments right and then flood all of the timelines with golden light and just focus on the golden light going through all the vibrations, healing, clearing, and cleansing. And that is it. So I'll just do it one more time. The caution, you're not intending to connect to any entities, just vibrations. Okay? The one hand creates the unity field connection to all vibrations that exist within your house. With your intention, it will work. Okay? The other hand... You send in forgiveness into all these vibrations in your house. And then healing into all hearts throughout the vibrations to heal the wounds. This is when you call in the angels. Angels, please come into all these vibrations to heal all the hearts of all who are involved in all time, space, realities, and dimensions, and parallels. And then... Retrieve all soul fragments. You can ask the angels to retrieve all soul fragments. And then you flood all of the timelines with golden light. With your intention. Just flood the golden light in there. Cleansing and clearing, healing and releasing. And, up, and it will uplift. It will... The entities will be... Will leave the heck out. While they're leaving out, they're going to get transmuted. The angels are going to be grabbing them. They're going to be bringing them into the light. And it will lift up. Your whole vibration of your house, it will go, it, can, it, will, it will literally go from feeling, uh, to like, ah, yes. And it will clear the attachments, entities off your partners, siblings, children, you. It will clear them out of their hidden dimensions that they're in because they hide in dimensions. And then at night, they sneak out of the dimensions to attack, right? This is how they work. It's the most annoying thing ever. But because they have come out of the dimension at some point, their vibrational signature is there. And this is why when you connect to the vibrations, it locks onto them no matter where they're hiding. So you get them every time. And then you get, you do the shadow, you're doing shadow work on them, um, and any entities or any, and, but as well as, um, anybody in your house, your siblings, your partners. So it's, it's doing shadow work on all, cause this is so important to understand. Your Akashic records are within you. And they're stored in vibration, okay? Vibration and frequency is storing all of your records, all of your Akashic records. This is how it truly looks to the ones who can see the records. It truly looks like a wave signature on top of wave signatures, on top of wave signatures, and then portals with more energy and wave signatures and vibrations. That's just how it is. We are vib literally walking the vibrations of energy. But... A lot of people want to think of it that it's this mysterious hall with books and records. It's not. It's that. It's just the way that you can perceive it. So, it, or guides might show it to you, so that it's easier for you to translate that this is a record because it's a book. But that's not how it works. It's vibrational storage of energy. And so, as you're doing the releasing and connecting to the vibrations, you're accessing all of the records to heal, to forgive, to release. And so, you're doing shadow work on all vibrations that are in your house. Now, here's the thing. If, for whatever reason, a being or an entity is in your house because you have had some kind of past with them, 
when you do that clearing, it's going to clear all the karmic cords anyways. You're going to be healing things for yourself, for them. So it's it's a complete win no matter what way you look at it. Um, it's going to completely be healing siblings, Akashic records, all these other Akashic records. And you're literally going to be forgiving, releasing, clearing, and cleansing all of these vibrations, which then in turn release. And the why you flood it with golden light... This is, you cannot forget this step. You cannot forget any of these steps. So do not do this. Write these steps down. Write them down. And then, so, cause you can't forget them. You can't, if you forget them, then you leave a hole in your vibrational records for your family, for yourself. And it's like an emptiness all of a sudden. So the density leaves and then it leaves a void. But this is why you have to flood the timelines with golden light because then it fills the records with the, the ascension and golden light energies and you become enriched in golden light. Your family becomes enriched in golden light and the entities also, which is what we need, less entities. Um, and so it is true that there is energies where entities don't exist and this is coming in and we're going to be living in reality completely free of entities but there's also true that in another type of reality existing within this reality light workers are getting targeted and entities are coming at night bugging them and stuff so so i want you to use both of these things what i just taught you and then blare out phil's youtube um thing and blast it in your house um whether it's on your phone, it's an hour long, and that will clear it out. You can even listen to it. It will help you. It will clear out. It's an amazing weapon of the light. So between these two things, you're going to be good. This is why share this out. We need to weaponize the light because there's nothing to fear. We just want to be living in a place without secret entities coming and bugging us and all these different things at night. And having our fields completely cleared where we don't become the victim or the target. No, we are God creator beings and there's nothing that these entities have on us. And so we're using the tools and the knowledge of consciousness to mess them up, transmute them, reclaim our sacred space in our houses, help our family out. And so share this out. This is going to help all of the community out. And it's just free knowledge that everybody needs to know um, to assist you to be in your power, in your sovereignty, and in a clear space. So I want to come on and share that because um, I'm seeing people posting and stuff. And it's true. Light workers will be targets as they evolve and um, because we are becoming brighter. But this is why we came here. We came here to be the brightest and we came here to defeat this darkness we are not dark and light that is bullshit and i don't mind saying that we are the light and we've only taken on darkness to heal it within ourselves to heal it for the fallen prime to be reconnected to the light because he would not be reconnected because he detached himself completely and so the only way to reattach him is to heal the darkness to take on darkness through the cycles of earth this is why when we come to the planet even if this is your first life it'll to a level people will take on a certain level of collective karma to heal and transmute it to assist to reconnect the darkness to the light it's the end game we're in the end mission we're going to complete this mission finally and this is how we do it. Reconnecting the dark to the light. Shadow work is the most powerful tool. That's why people call it spiritual bypassing if you don't do it. This is why it works amazing for house clearing, for any clearing of any space, because you're doing shadow work on the vibrations of the space. There's nothing more powerful than sh shadow work. There's nothing that will shift your vibration more than shadow work or shift your vibration. And it can be done through intentions and vibrations using the principles that I'm teaching. And um, you will feel amazing. Your house will feel amazing wherever you go. If you feel a dense vibration, you can do the same principles. Clear it and it'll lift it right up. This is the power. Taking the power back. Share this out because more people need to use the knowledge to reclaim our destiny of peace on earth love-based reality, entity-free sovereignty. We rise together. This is how we do it, by empowering each other in our light, energy, wisdom, consciousness.
So I'm happy to come on here, happy to share this out, and um, peace be with you all. Power to the heart, let there be light. We'll see you guys on the next live. Love you so much. Take care of yourselves. Firstly, you need to understand what each frequency of Hertz vibrations can do for you, and then you will appreciate the squeaky sounds and the magic and power they hold.
Secondly, if you don't and cannot forgive, then all the healings you have will not work long term and your shadow side will keep popping up in close relationships causing you issues, so the first rule of transformation is to forgive and let it go, don't look for answers and validation as you will never get the true spiritual answer so just let it be and let it go, just know this lesson will make you stronger. If you do not forgive you will only be hurting yourself and you will be prisoned in your own mind so set yourself free. Don't judge others and compare yourself to others because we all come here for different purposes and to experience different emotions. Let any resentments go. Everything is happening for you and not against you. Your higher self, over soul, is bringing you the lessons so you can be a better version of yourself. You can change your energy and vibration in many ways, and this video is a quick way to shift your energy and at the same time it will place a protection on you, your home, your surrounding and your belongings and pets and children. In this video, I have included many potent Sanskrit mantras, other prayers from my YouTube, Gematria codes that are repeated over and over for positive changes and abundance and other codes for your well-being, for example, 1188 ends karmic contracts. Also I have included frequency sounds and vibrations, somatic sounds, drumming, church bells as these have amazing healing frequencies, so many other shamanic sounds there are too many to mention. These are to heal your muscle cells, blood cells, DNA, skin cells, nervous cells, and system, mental state, fears, eyes, ears, health, lymph nodes, lymphatic system, organs, chakras, bones, mind, body spirit, remove stagnant energies, remove demonic energies, negative thoughts, negative energies, curses, hooks, karmic ties, karma, negative timelines, demonic energies, vampire energies and anything that has a hold over you. This also has sounds to help you shift to higher dimensional planes and connect with higher pure love light beings and connect with mother father god creator. The more we raise our vibrations, the easier it gets to connect with higher beings of love and light and we then can ask for their support, remember they only help if we ask as we have free will. I have included protections for you and your home, for your surroundings, and for your items and belongings, so play this around the home or in a place that you feel need shifting. This has many Sanskrit mantras, prayers, protection codes, light language codes and many sounds all to transmute these energies from negative low vibrational energies to love, light, and positive outcomes. Question, do I need to play it via speaker or headphones? Both is okay, but speaker is better because you need the sound to go in the walls and furniture and all your surroundings and body mind spirit. Question, can this help others around me? This can help anyone in your home or around you, even your pets and other family members, there are many codes in here so be discreet as negative people will be irritated by it. The negative beings who are hosting in the body do not want to go back to their realms or go to the light, they have more fun living off our negativity lifestyle and negative thoughts, they even live off our sickness so do your best and change your vibration. Question, I have poor hearing can I still play it? 
Regardless of your health problems and issues, play it as this has many healing codes for everything mentally, emotionally, physically, mind, body, spirit. Question, why do I cough after listening to this? After listening to this or during you will cough as your energy is shifting, always have a glass of water next to you. Question, my body was tingling, is this normal? Your body is shifting and yes tingling is a normal sensation and means something is transmuting and healing. Question, my ears are ringing? This is very normal, whenever you reach higher frequencies your ears will always ring. Question, my body is shaking and I feel odd? This will happen depending on how much negative energy you have to shift, just stop and drink some water and continue another day until you get stronger mentally, emotionally and physically, consider doing a detox and a fast as this helps to remove parasites and addictions. These parasites have personalities they can make you feel horrible because they don't want to die they want to control your mind and body, so do not let them host in your energy field. Question, how can this help me as I have been on a spiritual path for a long time? There are codes and mantras to help you with the ascension path and connections with higher beings on higher dimensions, tap into your gifts and powers, this video can help with your DNA upgrades and chakra clearing and cleansing and you can use this as a protection tool. Question, do I need to prepare before listening? Not really but maybe have a glass of water before and after, I do think what would help is to say a small prayer or do a intention or a ritual or you can say this prayer which has everything included to heal remove and transmute your energies to love and light, YouTube, ritual prayer removing everything that does not serve you, Philip Barrow, 2024. Question, can I sit under the sun? Yes go outside in nature and find a place to sit and relax, this video does have nature and sun codes to assist you, I would first call in my higher power to assist me, then I would play the video. I have some prayers on my YouTube channel. Question, I don't feel myself? Use grounding techniques, place hands on the ground and trees, stand barefoot on the grass, put a tiny bit of Celtic salt under your tongue as this will help with your blood balance and use cayenne pepper in some hot water. Check out Barbara O'Neill for some amazing health tips, have a cold shower, most important do some breathing exercises, drink some water, normally cold shower helps you shake it all off. Question, I am religious can I still use this? This is not religious, you can call in any god you wish that is of love. God does not judge us as God has unconditional love for us all. Please note we are all different and what works for one person does not work for another, so always go with your gut feelings.